Hello everyone, it's Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and today we're going to be looking at Asus's DCU2 version of the GeForce GTX 760. Now this card has been around for quite a while now so I'm not really going to go full in depth anymore because there are a lot of videos out there already. This is just for the regulars and because I've already reviewed the Zotac GTX 760, I'll link that somewhere around here. Um, you can watch that video and then compare it to this card because I think this one's quite a bit better actually, but it is bigger, so. Anyway, on the box, the front of the box, you just get the usual Asus styling. It says it has 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, which is pretty much all the important information that's on there. Now, on the back of the box, there's a lot more stuff. First, of course, we see that it has HDMI, DisplayPort, and then two DVIs, one of which is Dual Link DVI. And then we see our cooler, which uses the four heat pipe design, just a typical DCU, but without the giant pipe coming out of here. Other than that, it's all pretty uh, basic stuff. It says it has those special um, caps, and you have the GPU tweak, but every card has that. So. Let's get this one out of the way and actually move on to the card itself, which is right here. As you can see, it's a fairly small card, actually. So, I'm going to start with the top. So, in the top, you get these two. I think they're 80mm fans. They're very quiet uh, on idle, but when you are gaming, you'll hear that it will spin up a little bit. So, not really the quietest card ever, but then again, it's also very small. I'm going to start off with this back now because this is of course your DVI's display port and HDMI. Small cutout which won't really do anything to be honest but you can see that the card is not reference PCB. It's actually quite like one centimeter taller than your PCI slot so if you have a very very thin uh, case keep that in mind that it is going to stick out just a centimeter further. Then moving on to the top uh, you get your two SLI connectors because apparently NVIDIA still doesn't know how to do it without connectors. And then there is a single 8 pin. Now I haven't gone over the accessories in the box but there's a dual 6 pin to single 8 pin connector that comes with this graphics card in, in case your power supply doesn't have a 8 pin connector. But as you can see from the back, the PCB itself is rather short, so I, I'm guessing this is a 17cm PCB. And then there's two fingers and a little bit of um, heatsink hanging out. Because obviously the, the GTX 760 is just a, a 670, and that was a very, very small card. But instead of having like a dual stacked, Asus is now going to a single 8 pin, and the heatsink just hangs out a little bit. Now we're going to talk about cooling, performance and all that sort of stuff later though. But looking on the back, another thing that you might notice is this, I'm just going to flip it around for you guys, but it says direct power, so this should help with overclocking and stability. And then you can also see that it changes, you know, where the uh, memory modules are because sometimes the memory is on one side on the bottom, then it's on the top and it just it interleaves like that. Now, this of course means that your memory is not at all cooled, but memory doesn't really need to be cooled. It's like when people put these massive heat sinks on memory or water blocks on RAM sticks, it doesn't really need it. So, if your case has decent enough airflow, you should be fine with this card and its cooling design. Alright then, time for a conclusion on the GTX 760 DCU cards. Um, Weird thing, I was going to overclock this card and then it turned out the card would actually overclock itself with like turbo frequencies and everything. I'm not really an NVIDIA guy so I don't know much about it, but it's constantly running at 1230 megahertz. And then we're also getting, well that part I actually did have to do myself, but we're getting 6.4 gigahertz on the memory. And that gives us quite incredibly good performance for the price because we've paid... Um, I think this card was 195 euros that I paid for it. It's very cool, very quiet, uh, performs, yeah, just performs incredibly well. So with all that in mind, it gets a gold award right away because it is so good. And I would really recommend anyone to buy at least one of them. Now, if you 
if you really want to know like performance figures and everything, I would really recommend you to go to like a big review site like Tech Power Up or an Antec or something. Because those guys have a lot better hardware, a lot better testing, way more time and a bit way bigger budget as well. So for like pure performance, uh, just go on the internet and read a written review. But if you like this video, press the like button. And if you dislike it, press the dislike button. Uh, please leave a comment on what you think, what card are you running? Do you want to upgrade your card? Why not? Why would you? And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Unicorn Reviews. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.